Hola, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today we are in the Amazon jungle. We drove eight hours from Cusco to get here. So before you leave, I want to show you the Airbnb that we're staying at real very fast here in Cusco. Bedroom. Cusco is really uh, affordable in terms of Airbnbs. So we got a tour company to, it's been very hectic and very hard to organize. So I don't even know if they're coming or not. They've, hopefully they are. Cause we've checked out of here and we're going into the jungle. So we can't go into the jungle without a tour. It was a very long drive, but it was absolutely beautiful. Um, like the whole drive, the whole eight hours, we were in the mountains, it was gorgeous. I can't say that town name because my mouth doesn't move that right way, but we are on a pit stop right now going towards the jungle. We just got some breakfast here. It's really, it's a cute little town. We come back this way too. Yeah. This is the border of the park. We're finally here in the jungle. I was really wanting to do this more than anything, more than Machu Picchu, more than just, I've always wanted to come to the the jungle and here I am I'm in the jungle so now we're just going to explore the jungle for three days we got a guide with us that drove us here and he's giving us a lot of freedom so we're just going to kind of go at our own pace and just explore ourselves so if you want to experience the Amazon jungle with me then come on let's go this is the Guadalupe Lodge and this park is the menu park um, part there's a lot of jungle in Peru. Peru is, I think, has the most area of jungle of any country in South America. Come on in. This is um, a necessity. One thing about the jungle is you may know, there are so many bugs. Um, they don't really like me that much. So I haven't gotten bit yet, but Lana is very desirable amongst the mosquitoes. It's very simple, open concept. Monkeys. Bathroom. Get a shower. There's also Wi-Fi here, surprisingly, somehow. It doesn't work that good, but I'll show you the dining uh, kitchen area. I'm pretty sure most of this is powered through solar power. It's a little kitchen down there. Just got here and I don't really know the place that well, but I'm assuming we get, we get free bananas. This is Manu National Park. It's huge. 
it's ginormous. We're just in the very like beginning of the jungle. The elevation here is much lower than in Cusco. It's 2,000 versus 11,000. I'm hoping, like a huge goal of mine, like I said, is to find a monkey. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to do that. And we're also going to do some other things. So right now we're going to go walk at night to see the animals that come out at nighttime. They look like permissions. Persimmons? Per yep, that word. And they have like this weird film on the outside. What is that? Well, the other ones have fuzz on them. Yeah. I'm just like the stupid explorer that doesn't know anything or research anything. What is this? That's a tomato. We're learning together. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to research. It's too difficult. <laughs> All right, so we are going to put on these boots because apparently it's very muddy in the jungle. So we have to put these on. Thermites. Oh, whoa, did they make this? Yeah. Look at this. The ants live in there too? Or there's baby ter termites? I love the other termites. <gasps> there's a baby termites. I've never seen a baby termite before. Look at this. Huh. Wow. That's a huge ball. There must be a lot in there. That was interesting. The jungle's full of cool things. He's over there. They're very far. But they're there. Jason. I wanted to see their reaction, but they just heads are just poking out. Totally ignoring humans. <laughs> so many. Believe my banana. They will be ignoring your banana too. <laughs> I'd probably ignore the humans as well. Have a monkey. Heads are just poking out. Oh, that's a mosquito? Yeah. Why is it so weird looking? Yeah. You deserve that. Got it. It's a little nature documentary. Life and death. That's a big mosquito. Like Probably has Lana's blood in it. Yeah. It's a circle of life. <laughs> you just nourished a spider. It's in a drone area, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a nice little circle. I said, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful out here. The temperature got really nice. I haven't been really bit. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel it, but... You're welcome. I'm feeling good. <laughs> what, are they all biting you? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Look at this. this. We're just like hanging out in the jungle. It feels... fresh. The payas. Like some sort of mint or... I know what it is. It's like a licorice mint. Yeah. Yeah. Really? So that was really amazing. Um, not even like we got to see the monkeys from the distance, but it was just like being so into nature. Like, I don't know, it just feels really nice because we're really far away from like any type of city at all. And everything is just, there's so much wildlife. There's so much like life. That's what it is. So much life. That's what it feels like. It's just a lot of life going through everything as you can see there's bugs everywhere but like i don't know i really like it we're gonna have some dinner now they're making it in the little kitchen good i have to say this this um poncho thing has been so useful it's like a blanket on me all the time like i'll never live without it now like i'm attached but we are having supper now it's 7 30 i'm so tired it's been such a long day um i don't know what we're having I know mine will be vegetarian. Well, the power keeps going out because there wasn't enough, I guess, sunshine today for the solar power, which I think is really cool because when it goes out, it's pitch black. Like, there's no lights anywhere. 
and like your eyes can't see anything. It's amazing. It's like a sensory deprivation like experience. Love it. That's a good idea. Soup was good. Muy bien. So here's my lighting solution. <laughs> my, my video light is magnetic and it's on this. Oh, <laughs> I think it's, oh, is it quinoa? Mm -hmm. I can't see. Oh, it's quinoa. I can't see. <laughs> quinoa, broccoli, vegetables. Just got finished eating. I'm so full. It's only like eight, but the electricity is off, so nothing really else to do except to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> I'm so tired. I have to get up at five something tomorrow to start the day, so good night. Buenas noches. I will see you right and early in the morning. I'll have some more adventures. Um, Good night, Brittany. I was not drunk. <laughs>